When working with pages in Weebly, you have one of basically three categorical options. You can create a main page, a nested subpage, a link to an external site, or a hidden page. And so I've set those up and I want to show you through the Weebly editor how you can create and what those pages look like. So you'll have a main page um, and here I've chosen the fourth page layout uh, as a, a way to help show you. It's going to have text and image on one side. A nested subpage um, is going to be a page that in the navigation is a drop down and so you can hover over it and select that page. I'm going to leave this page blank and the way that you would create one of those is just to grab the dots pull it outside if you want it to be a main page or if you want to nest it underneath the page you just drag it where you want it. To create an external link there's a little checkbox uh, that if you just create a page you can do look link page to an external site you can type in the URL and you can save it and then for that hidden page basically create a page and then check the hide page and navigation menu and again for contrast here I'm going to do a large banner ad so let's save everything and I want to go into the published version so here's the main page notice that uh, when I hover over it you'll see all the nested pages uh, you've got the the layout here if I click the nested sub page it'll take me into the that location if I click the ASU main page it's going to take me all the way out of my website and then from the main page I can create a link to the hidden page to go into that special content. Now you may ask why would I create a hidden page in the first place. If I wanted someone to have to go to say a particular uh, either main page or sub page before accessing a uh, different type of content, if I hide that page from the navigation it assures that they can't jump over say the nested sub page and just go straight to the ASU page. Um, it's, it's really a tool to help you control the experience for the user um, and there are many ways that you can actually do that within Weebly even after you've created the pages just by dragging them around in the editor version and hiding or unhiding the pages as needed.